The mysterious proton docks is real. Although getting to it isn't quite that simple, let me explain. To use the docks, you first need to get to the new Proton Drive, and you can get up to 5 gigabytes of free storage on that drive. If you already have a Proton Mail account, just sign in. If you don't have a Proton email account, don't really want one, well, <laughs> you got to start either with your current email address or you have to create a Proton account. Once you've done that, the rest is pretty easy. Let me show you how. Starts by signing into your Proton Drive. You can either do it by first setting it up, or if you already have a Proton account, hit the sign in button. Once Proton Drive has started, you'll notice the button that says New, and that's to start a new document. As you can see here, I've already created a new document, and it shows up the second you open Proton Drive. Now, if you're on your Proton Mail account, you'll also notice this little icon up at the top. When you select it, from here you can get to all the things that Proton offers. So it really makes no difference if you're on Proton Drive. You can get to your mail, your calendar. We're already on the drive. You can access the VPN and you can access your passwords if you've got any of these or all of these set up. This is available, that little icon is available in all the Proton apps. It's available on all of the websites. And from here, you can get to any of the other services. But as you can see, within Proton Drive, under New is a new document that you start. If you already have a document created, as I did, just select that document. If you want to access it, change it, share it, whatever you want to do with it. Now, how you use the document itself, that's a different story. And probably the subject for another tutorial. But as you can see, there is a document available in Proton. Stay safe, stay secure. I hope this helps. Bye-bye and thanks for watching and listening.